All right, we are already rolling here. Mike Bratcher versus Brady Bierman. This should be exciting. And Mike's already beat Brady once, is that correct? And on the... I believe so. I think uh, Brady's having a double dip here. And earlier, uh, Ratcher was down four to one against Austin, and then just came back like crazy. I think so. Say something. Yep. It's a, well, mine is. Let's see. Because it's coming up to the captions on the stream. see if uh... so since this is a hot seat match and Brady has to double dip is it still a winner breaks order this will be pretty interesting here is he going to use the 13 to hold, or does he go forward, or just draw back a little bit? Or, yeah, the 11, sorry. That's what I meant. Can't see colors. I thought I was looking at the bracket earlier and Brady was on the B side. But maybe I was misreading it. I was in the back for a little while. See, this is what I was looking at. This is that was the part that confused me. I don't know why it says he's down there then too. Is this the whole You get what I'm saying? I'm like. JD, that's why we were trying to look at the bracket to see. I was trying to see both sides of it because Brady's name on this on both halves of the bracket. But I believe Trey is correct. This is a hot seat match. Yeah, 
I might just got game one. Okay. It looks like a dry break from Mike. Puts Brady up. A little bit of congestion there with the four ball. Gotta think he's probably gonna take stripes here. He's looking at his options. I like stripes here. What do you guys like? Trey is outside confirming the status of what kind of match this is. What'd you find out, Trey? Yes, yes, I did. I mean, I've talked to him, so what happened was the girls at the scores table uh, done something, and they put that match in like he had won. That is not correct. This is the hot seat match. Okay. Gotcha, okay. I just wanted to be with myself again, so. Yes, I was going to say, I talked to Brady, and I knew he was going to get it all together. Zach Songer tuning in. He's uh, from Robinson, so. Got some of our folks checking it out from Southern Illinois. Yeah, I got to play against your kid yesterday. He beat me and uh, Danny Cravens. Well, him and uh, Logan Orth beat us. Pretty solid, dude. He's And Brady misses the shot, letting Mike up to the table. This is not where you want to be, but... I'm not sure what happened there. Can you switch the view? What are we doing here? Looks like they're... I feel like we missed something because we should go rewind back 30 seconds and see what exactly just happened. You know, but Brady's sitting down and take a look at this layout. Oh, uh, looks like a ball in hand was given up there. Okay. That's very unfortunate for Brady. Score hasn't been updated, but Mike is up one to zero. I don't like to mess with the score because usually they're supposed to be updating it out there. I'd say uh, Mike's 99% favored to run this table out now.
Oh, all right. Thank you, Robbie, for spotting that. It looks like uh, Brady had made the ball but moved the four ball with his arm. He takes the six. Yeah. We do a little bit of a stun to kind of come out for a more natural shot on the seven. But really, I think Mike can just kind of focus on making the ball, and he can really make any shot from anywhere. it up there. And I don't think, well, let's see. That might change it up a little bit for him because I think he was wanting the uh, Oh, yeah. Pretty touchy shot there, but I'm glad I didn't bet on the run out there. Cause <laughs> Almost use that three ball. <clears throat> this is a pretty interesting angle here. I think he just draws it back so that he takes a 13 in the side pocket and then. Just like that. Can't really tell if he's on the right side of it. Yeah, so this is a little bit tougher, but not for someone at Brady's level, I guess. Maybe he just goes a little forward and takes the eight ball in the corner pocket. Josh says your mic isn't on. I'm, t I'm talking to myself over here, I guess. Uh, say something now, Trey. Hello? How's that? I, yeah, I think it's better now. Yeah. Thanks, Josh. How's it going, buddy? All righty. Looks like it's one to one. To one. It should be. I'll tell you what, I'm going to update the scores on on here. Since they're not using the app and updating it the way it's supposed to be. Rick Walker tuning into the stream. I appreciate you guys joining. This is a hot seat match here. For those who aren't aware, we're raising money for autism here in Evansville, autism awareness, great cause. So if you get the chance, if you're not here, the way you can support the cause is resharing the stream so that we can get some more attention on here. Mike Bratcher and Brady Bierman, it's a one-to-one -one now, a race to six. Josh, uh, I'm doing good, buddy. Uh, it's been a long weekend, uh, been grinding all weekend. So uh, it's been fun. 
Now I get to sit back and watch the pros play. <laughs> What a break. Wow. We need to figure that one out. And solids look primed and ready to run out here. A little bit of congestion around the seven and the one, but plenty around it to also kind of break it out. Did you share the live stream on your page? Yeah, I did. shot that it looked like it was very intentional there he's got a very precise shot here that he has to make though kind of wonder if he wishes that he had that five ball in the uh, corner pocket buried so that he could maneuver over but He's getting down on it pretty confidently. Let's see what he does here. And he uses the 11 ball to get what he needs there. This is when you get to watch the good players play. You know, because I would mess this up trying to shoot the one in the side or the seven, either one, to get on the other one. <laughs> I think he, he'll probably take the seven to kind of push the one ball up. But, yeah, you're right. There's so much congestion. It's a seven-foot table. See, I think he shoots the one and just probably draws it back to shoot the seven in the corner. We'll see what he shoots here. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Oh, he shot it up in the corner. I thought he would take it in the side. It's not the best angle we get to see back here. Yeah, it doesn't look quite as easy as he had probably uh -huh. hoped now. Now he's uh, got to shoot the six ball to get in, you know, to shoot the four or seven. I think he can just come off that side rail, though, and yep. then just take the either the four or the seven all the way down. Hey, Kristen. How you doing? Where you should be. You should be down here watching. <laughs> I'm trying to be very impartial, but I do uh, yeah. have a chunk of Brady in this. So. Oh, dude! <laughs> nice. That's always fun, right? Rooting on your horse. You know, and I like Brady. I've met, you know, Brady uh, has been coming to Evansville, you know, for some of these tournaments over the oh, past yeah. five, six years. Very down-to-earth individual. So yeah. You, know, you can talk to him. He's always willing yeah. to, you know, talk to you and be very friendly, very personal yeah. player, which is always refreshing to see when it comes to pool players. Him and Cookie. Boy, that's a pair. <laughs> Taking the seven first year it looks like that's oh. great shot man there. that's crazy that was clutch <laughs> such control there no nerves shooting over the fifteen though makes it kind of tough to be able to he's just got to make it. Yeah. You should be good. There we go. Brady takes an early lead. 
Two games to one. Uh, so Kristen, she says she's doing good. Uh, she planned on coming, but didn't want to distract them. He is, uh, he's not distracted at all. I think he's pretty focused. We miss you coming down here. It's always a pleasure. We enjoy you guys coming down for sure. There you go. Yeah, Brady's definitely been the dominant player in this field for sure. Most of his wins have been like six to two, six to, you know, yeah. six to four. I mean, I mean, uh, he played uh, he played the kid early on and beat him six to one. Oh yeah, Ricky Evans, Ricky Evans. was also another favorite you know. coming into this. You know, it's the first time I met Ricky, and, you know, Ricky didn't play good all weekend. I mean, he had spurts of a couple games here and there, but he didn't really put anything together. Yeah, it's always tough in this in these short races, race to fives. If you don't come out of the gate swinging, it's yeah. really hard to get any sort of rhythm. And somebody at the level of Brady's level, uh, it's just hard to catch any traction if they get a little bit of a head. Yes, uh, Kristen, I totally agree. I uh, got to speak with him about it a little bit, and uh, I, to, you know, I, he's playing good, and he he wants to get that title as well, you know, for autism, as you know. Rick, we're here in Evansville, Indiana, at Eagles. Appreciate you tuning in. Uh, yeah. Evansville is just a melting pot for really great players in the area. So if you're ever here, I'm not sure where you're from, Rick, but. And we're at the East Side Eagles on Old Boonville Highway. We give a shout out to them. We're at 6,000 Old Boonville Highway out here. Always been great hosts, great venue, plenty of space. Yeah, always great people. I mean, we haven't had any confrontations really, anything like that. Everything's been going pretty smooth. Rick Walker, got it. I said, thank you, I'm here. <clears throat> so speaking of pool, um, Sean, I seen you got a new pair of Oakleys. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, I played uh, Chris Thomas for some action. It was my time to finally get a match on him because we played some action before. And he always, I think, you know, going into it, he's probably beat me 2-0 in matches. So yeah. finally got one. I've, I've been playing a lot in Champagne, so my game's picked up a little bit too. And I know he's not quite as consistent with playing since he's always on the road. And I think it finally got the yeah. best of him. <laughs> Looking good in them new Oakleys. Yeah, <laughs> yeah Kristen. Uh she means a lot to him. Thank you for streaming this. Many folks at home watching and drinking a beer and salute. Absolutely. That's got to be exciting. Be able to sit down and watch yes. somebody like Brady being so good at the sport and you guys can just get together and watch a live stream. And for he a great plays house. so good. So smooth. I try to learn from him myself, you know, and, and pick his brain on certain things. And, you know, he's a good guy. I really enjoy uh, being able to hang out with him. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah he's very approachable <clears throat> that's one thing that i really like about yeah. him is that if you have a question about what he's thinking you're you know he's he's not timid when it comes to sharing his knowledge if you ask him a lot of those players are kind of very almost intimidating to approach when it comes to that sort of thing yeah, like Nick Varner was here, you know, mm -hmm. so everybody's always asking, yeah. you know, pulling him aside, asking him questions. Yeah, and it's, it's, you don't want to bug them, but Brady's always willing to share that information and knowledge. And it's awesome. And Brady gets another one, three to one. And this is definitely not something where you want to get too comfortable with. Again, Chris Austin was up four to one against Bratcher earlier and Bratcher came back and ran basically a five pack yes sir 
it's amazing to watch them do that. Oh, yeah. Especially on a seven-foot table. Because there's so much congestion there. You have to work really hard in order to get those breakouts to win the rest of the, the game. You know, it's it's, it's kind not of like on the nine-foot table where you can yeah. just let your stroke out and play. And yeah. On a nine-foot table, it's more about how accurate are you on pocketing balls. On seven-foot tables, it's how efficient are you at moving things in the direction that they really need to go in to, to run the table out. So. Yeah. Kristen, we had a bunch of raffles uh, here that you would have liked. We had some bath and body, a uh, couple baskets, and uh, we had some purses, and we have a, a big Scentsy basket with all the smell good stuff. You know, Don't tell her that now. She should have been be here mad now. That you you got to come her next tickets. time. Yeah. 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 I think he might have got some tickets. He uh, might have got in the raffles. I, got an, I, I bought one ticket on an Avid shooting cube yeah. one ticket and i want it that's awesome i got a ticket on that cube <laughs> <laughs> i forgot that i even bought the ticket because i think i was pretty buzzed last night i must have just I'm like you know here's ten, yeah so <laughs> you you got some more of that thomas fun yeah <laughs> A little bit of a tougher table here. We'll see what he does. I think this is the key shot here. Oh, he yeah. missed it. He hit the back of the pocket. Yeah, that was a because he had to break some of that out. Yeah, but it's not looking good for Mike. I mean, it's tough. This is this is a tough shot. It doesn't have a good clean shot. But again, at this level, this is where these guys really can come out and surprise you. <laughs> she said he better got some tickets. <laughs> yep. Yeah, matter of fact, I'm wearing one of the t-shirts today. I've been wearing polos all weekend, supporting the one queue, and, uh, you know, we do a lot around the Evansville area, and, you know, being part of the committee, um, we all help out. Hugh, um, this is the hot seat match. Uh, we got Mike Bratcher and Brady, and then... Uh, let me look down and see if the other one has been updated. Uh, I think Brian Hebler was left. Let's see. Matt Madden. Chris Austin. So it looked like Chris Austin beat Matt. Or is, yeah, 5-3. Uh, so Chris Austin. It looks like there's four players left. Chris Austin, Brian Hebler. And then, of course, Brady Behrman and Mike Bratcher. So that means that Chris Austin beat Matt Madden. Matt Madden. Yeah, 5-3. Yep. Yeah. I got Chris Austin's one of my horses, too. So. Yep. Yeah. You know, I, I took a bunch of them in the nine ball field. I didn't even go for the auction. Yeah, <laughs> for well, the eight ball. It being in two different locations <laughs> yeah. makes it kind of, nah, but. But, uh, you know, the team event um, finished up this morning. I don't know, 10, 30, 11 o'clock, maybe? Jeez, did it go that yeah. late? I was here until 7. I was here until uh, 4. This morning. And uh, I want to shout out to Chad Wade and mm -hmm. Viv, Derek Bivens. Uh, they won the hot seat, decided to split uh, with second place. Um, and I had the second place horse, which was uh, Jesse Mishler and Bobby Hall. Uh, they defeated... Andrew Hutchins and Maddie. Oh wow! And they got third. Strong yeah. Team. So, and Maddie's who won between her and Haley? Uh, Maddie beat Haley okay. uh, four to two, and she is out there playing um, uh, Becky Mailing. Okay. The winner of that match will go on to play uh, Tanya Weiser, uh, and then the winner of that will play you know the women's champ who I call. <laughs> Which is Allison. Allison Hardwick. Allison Hardwick, yeah. Yeah. She's waiting. You know. So it's been a it's been a grind for all of them. Yeah. Maddie's probably the only one that's been here all night long because she played in the doubles oh, and wow. then going straight into the singles. Uh, Takes back so to much that. mental stamina. But check this out. It looks like Brady should be good to get out here. Um a little bit tricky. I mean, this is one of those situations where 
someone like me or you would struggle with this. Oh yeah. But he can. He's got a nice touch. Yeah. He's so smooth. He knows exactly what he want. What he wants to do when he gets down on that shot too. That he commits to it. I think that's something where I fault at is you kind of go for. I can make the six ball anywhere because it's in the center of the table. But yeah. he knew exactly where he wanted that cue ball. And I, that pays off when you know what you're doing like that. And watch his cue ball control because he's going to be, I mean, just, oh, he just stopped it. He's like, I'll just take the hard cut. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Me, I would have tried to draw it back, and I probably would have got hooked on the 12. Sometimes people just play zones. It's like as long as the cue ball is within this radius, I, can, I know that I can make the yep. shot. And there we go. And Brady is up four to one. This is the same spot that Chris Austin was up in against Mike, and Mike still came back and won that. So this will be Don't interesting to see. Out. Yeah, you definitely can't take them for granted. I think that someone like Brady has great mental fortitude that can stay up on it, wearing those AirPods. So you know he's already in his zone. <clears throat> It's kind of interesting to yeah. see how players have different vices when they're at the tables to kind of keep them focused. Brady Bierman's playing with AirPods. Chris Austin had his family kind of sitting on the table around him where you could kind of like look at just to kind of yeah. stay focused. Now, when you play, do you play with AirPods? Any um, kind of music or anything while you play? I need sound in the background. I don't necessarily need uh, AirPods, but I do need like music or something like a jukebox yeah. at least to play well. Yeah. See, I've I've never uh, used AirPods or anything, and you know sometimes the room gets totally quiet when you go to shoot. Mm -hmm. You're in an important match, you know. Yeah, when it's quiet, it gets very eerie, and it's hard to, you know, it's almost like whenever you go to yes. sleep, some people need a fan yeah. in the background to <laughs> kind of the white noise, so to speak. Yeah. Yes, Hugh. Uh, strong final four for sure. I mean, any of these guys could win. So. It's been very interesting. Looks like, oh, congratulations, Trey. Looks like you uh, won some stuff. Trey's in here signing some paperwork that he Just won uh, some dog grooming prizes, gift cards, or something to that effect. Oh, Brady Bierman misses the four ball. It's not an easy run out. That 11 ball is tied up. Well, not tied up, but it's definitely in a weird spot with the five ball and he doesn't have anything else there to break it out so that 11 ball is kind of an on, on an island maybe he can use the nine ball to get there but even the nine balls in a precarious spot I got you turned back up, Trey. Sweet. You're good to go. Congratulations, awesome, man. man. Just want so, some stuff. Yeah, I won two uh, free grooming, uh, dog grooming, uh, $160 value. So that's a $320 that's value. Awesome. Yeah, and who's that from? So that what is, is that from of uh, Cali Mays Animal Service. They are in Owensville, Indiana. There you go. Yes, awesome. I'll take it. My dog's here. I get groomed. <laughs> she needs to be pampered. Her nails need to be done. <laughs> All right, so you missed it. Brady actually missed. So Mike's back up to the table. That 11 ball is on an island. So I'm kind of curious to see how he's going to maneuver to get over there. And this is where this next level of play really comes into effect because, in my opinion, you probably use the 9 ball to break out the 11, but you still got to. You got to get a shot. Where's, where's, What's he doing here? Is he taking the... Oh, he missed. Oh, he okay. trying to take the solids or... Yeah, I thought it was... I thought Brady was already wow. solids. That's unorthodox for Mike. This is where that mental stamina comes in throughout the weekend. 
been playing all weekend. We've been running it since Thursday. I don't think Mike played Thursday, though, did he? Uh, no, Bratcher was not in the nine ball. Uh, he showed up for the... Uh, he must have had to work, probably. Still a lot of congestion with that 511, but I still like solids at this point. What do you take here, Trey? You think solids? Um, yeah. Yeah, if I, I mean, if it was me, I would take solids. I'm looking um, at the five ball going in the opposite side pocket, if he knows how, yeah. if he can. Because he could, you know, uh, shoot the two to start off with. Um, I never like to predict how they're going to run these out yeah. with those mini balls. on It's just like, then you look silly whenever they do something completely different. And yeah. it's like, well, because they just have a different brain for it you know at this absolutely level. their patterns are going to be way different than my pattern or your pattern right well sure. and we are looking at an overhead view too so it's yeah. a little bit tougher for them to see it from their angle so he's probably going to slide over for the four yeah, yeah. he probably didn't want to be on top of the ball like that and then he'll if he can he'll roll up and shoot the six ball if possible like come off the rail and shoot the six or he could just tap it in now and, and combo the ball. Yeah, it's yeah, tough when you're on top of it ball. and you're you know you're having to lean yeah. over the table, keep one foot on the ground. So you just want to make the ball. Yeah, That's come off the rail. He's going to shoot the six. And let's see, does he have enough space in between the six and the five to really get there without having a combo? I mean, I know he he's not getting ready to do what I'm uh, what I could probably try to do is <laughs> shoot the six and try to go into the five with low right. He, well, it does look, I think that must go because he's getting down on that really quick. Yeah, yeah. And he gets See what I'm saying? He he breaks them out so good. And that that's where we're, <laughs> that's I was huge talking about like these guys at this level just know where the breakouts are at different opportunities that you and I don't necessarily right. see. Because he's going to shoot the seven ball and maybe run into the 13, and then he'll decide if he wants to play the one or the three. Yeah, I think he can just do a stop shot here, honestly. Yeah. yeah. Just float it over. Now he can either just float it down a little bit and take the three ball, or... He'll probably draw back just a touch so he can get by the nine. I think that's what he's looking at too, yeah. I mean, he's like a half ball draw shot. He might go into it now, just as yeah. a stop there, yeah. Yeah, because uh, he's looking good. Because now he can just, you know, shoot the three, use center ball, and go to the end rail and shoot the five back in the side on the opposite side of the table. Yeah. Oh, he just tapped it in. He makes it look so easy. Yeah, from that angle, it's wow. so hard to just hold it like that. I wonder what he's listening to. <laughs> Kristen, if you're watching, what music is he listening to right now? <laughs> And that puts him up on the heel, five to one over Mike Bratcher. And again, this is for the hot seat. You know, Brady always comes to play when he's in Evansville. This isn't his first rodeo winning the hmm. uh, charity tournament either. No. I believe he won in year one. Yep. Now, let me ask you this. Do you remember who he beat? 
he beat because I watched that match was it Austin uh, year one because that was the breast cancer one, right? I thought it was TJ. I thought he beat TJ. Oh, yeah, in the no, finals, you're right. Because right? TJ was on fire yeah. that weekend. And TJ went for like $80. Yeah, he was a dark horse <laughs> for sure. Lighten him up. Kristen says he's won twice. Yes, absolutely. He's trying to make it a three peat. They're going to have to do like a Hall of Fame for On Cue Billiards because he would, <laughs> he'd be one of them. He's definitely going to be here. Did you want I just in? want something else. Dude, share wow. some with the rest of us. <laughs> What'd you win? I won the uh, sunflower painting. You look like a sunflower kind of yeah, painting. Yeah, absolutely. I'm, I might donate it. <laughs> Well, that was a hey, at least shot. I won something this weekend, huh? Yeah. But I, I can't say that. I did win a little bit of cash flow, so. Yeah, we still got some. I, well, I saw yeah. some horses. I'm getting reimbursed for my $100 donation. <laughs> <laughs> yep. And then Brady's on the hill here, so definitely looks favored oh, to get wow. out here. Another man, kind just, of just rolling through it kind of match for Brady Bierman. He has got the sickest stick right now. One of the players, one of the few players still playing with a wood shaft and just doing work. Yeah, I play with a wood shaft as well, but I don't hit them near as You don't hit them like that. <laughs> And right, that's, that's going to be it. it for this match. Brady Bierman, 6-1 to one against Mike Bratcher. Uh, that's going to put Mike Bratcher on the B side. And I think Chris Austin is still on the B side. So yep. how does that line up for the... Uh, right now, it looks like... Um, let me scroll down here. Uh, Brian Hebler and Chris Austin. It looks like it's 1-1. to one, And the winner of that will play Mike Bratcher. Eric Canary jumping in the chat. Wood shaft for life, Eric. Absolutely. Is Eric still doing taxes? Yes. So, Adam. quick shout out to Eric. Been a yep. huge supporter of this areas in this community and the events that it hosts. He did my taxes one year. Yep. He Premium tax yeah. solutions. So, shout out. Eric Canary. Check him. Find him on Facebook he, or whatever. Uh, matter of fact, he helped he helps me with a lot of stuff uh, I just started my own business and uh, he helped me with the LLC and all that so he does more than just taxes so absolutely what kind of business do you have Trey uh, I had started my own lawn care and landscaping business okay. well, and it's called cuts on cue I like you it. gotta like it so I do graphic design just in case you ever need any sort yeah. of help I do marketing and promotion Check it out. I like it, man. Cuts on cue. I Here's like my it. business card. That's pretty. Uh, it's got a pool table in the background. Uh, yeah. The felt is grass. I like that, dude. <laughs> got to have the lines, you know? Sure. So, all right, folks. Um, we don't, I don't know if we're going to have a matchup on here yet, real, or if we're going to wait till the next one. We get uh, the winner of Hebler and Chris Austin. Uh, to play Mike Bratcher. So, yeah, so we'll take a intermission here, and then we'll see who's next on the commentary, or if it's going to be me and Trey, I'm not sure. But appreciate you guys tuning in, and we'll be back here shortly. Absolutely. Thanks.